Hey guys, it's Techran here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to stream with OBS Studio on Mac so that we can stream to whatever platform we want to. YouTube, Twitch, Kick, whatever platform we want to. I'm going to teach you how to set it up here today. Also, thank you to everyone who's been supporting the channel. We're almost at like 7,000 subscribers. We might even hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So I'm very much thankful for all you guys' support. Very much appreciated. I got a bunch more videos coming on the way, so you don't want to miss out on any of that. You know what to do. Get subscribed. And if you do find today's video helpful, make sure to smash the like button. But for right now, though, let's get into it. The first thing I need to do is download OBS Studio. Now, of course, we'll have a link to it down below. Once you're actually on this page, what you want to do is click on Mac OS. And depending on if you're on Mac M1, M2, or M3, you want to download the Apple Silicon. But if you're an older Mac, which is using an Intel chip, of course, to do the Intel one. For us, though, we're going to click on the Mac OS. We're going to allow the download, and we're going to put this down into our download folder. Once we have access to that in our download folder, you're, of course, going to see the OBS uh, installer for, of course, the file. We're just going to open this on up. And what we're going to do is we're going to drag this little application thing into our applications folder on Mac. So that way we have it on our actual computer. So if we scroll down, you'll see OBS Studio. We're going to just open this on up. You just want to click Open. And then your course gonna have to give some permissions to actually OBS Studio. So we're gonna just go into our settings and stuff and allow this by just checking it. Now, of course, you will need to enter your password for this. So make sure to just log into this. And of course, it might ask you like reopen later, but we're not gonna worry about that for the time being. We're just gonna do the exact same thing for the rest of them. So we're just gonna keep on doing this for our actual camera settings now. We're of course gonna allow it access. Same thing for the microphone, allow access. And with that, we'll go into accessibility for like hotkeys and stuff like that. We're going to go to our system settings, do the exact same thing. Might require your password. If not, it should just work and we should just like open system settings. And then uh, of course, we're all good to go. So we'll just click continue now. And now what we need to do is make sure to allow the system extensions to work. So we need to go into our system settings here. What you're going to see is going to say system settings for applications for OBS was blocked. Now we make sure to click allow load this so that way it doesn't cause any problems down the line. With that though, OBS Studio is now installed. So once you got OBS installed, it might ask you that you can set up config wizard. And of course you just want to cancel that because we're going to set up everything manually. So the first thing we have access to when we have OBS right the rip is actually our scenes and sources. Now there's nothing set up right off the rip. So what you want to do if you want to add actual device, you want to add a screen capture, all you have to do is go into your sources, right click, click add. And for Mac, of course, you're going to click on the Mac OS screen capture, which will capture whatever your monitor is. Since I have one monitor set up, only capture the monitor I have right now. And that way we can actually screen record our Mac if we actually want to do so, which you can see here, which is awesome. Now, if you do want to add your webcam, it's the same process. All you have to do is right click, go to add. But this time, what you're going to do is click on video capture device and you're going to select whatever your webcam you actually have for it. So for me, I have the Tail Air actually webcam, so I can just click on that, but that we can actually add our webcam. Now, lighting in the room on my site is not particularly the best, which you can see right here. So just ignore that for time being, just use this for example. And something to keep in mind is when you set up your like layers for actually sources in OBS, make sure you treat it as a burger. The top of your bun is going to, of course, be like your overlays and alerts. And the middle of your bun, like your lettuce and tomato is going to be anything in between. So like my webcam, for example, here and the bottom of your bun, of course, is going to be like your gameplay or display capture, whatever you want to show off the main source. So we want to set this on up. We want to make sure that I actually drag this, our capture card, which is our, of course, our webcam. We can set that to the side. Now we can capture our actual desktop gameplay and also our webcam on the side with this setup it looks pretty good and now if you do have an actual capture card to use for mac os all you do same thing is right click add do video capture device uh, i don't have one on this pc for the time being but if you do want to set one up you perfectly can that way you can capture the game audio from it and also the video from it too so that way you can do that but since we don't have one we can just remove this for the time being now, if you do want to add your mic in OBS on Mac, all you have to do is go into your settings. And when you're in here, what you want to do is go to audio. And when you're in audio, what you want to do is go to mic and auxiliary audio and actually select your device. So for me, I have my webcam tail air here and that's my mic. So we're going to name this and that way we're good to go. And to make your mic sound good, I would recommend doing two things. First of all, what you need to do is go into filters on the three dots and actually add a filter by right clicking add and i would recommend you add a noise gate which is the first thing which so that whether it isn't like keyboard typing stuff like that it gets cut off i know if you stop talking there won't be any buzz left over so if i stop talking here you can see there's no audio right there right but if we were to disable that actually uh noise gate we're gonna stop talking you're gonna see there's still buzzing left over 
So that's the kind of stuff you actually want to remove by adding a noise gate you can actually do that and then the other thing i would recommend on top of adding a noise gate to make your mic sound better is adding a noise suppression and just add the normal one you do for rn noise and with that your mic is pretty much all good to go you can add some other stuff to it too but this is the things i would recommend most people set up on their mic now if you guys are wondering how to set up alerts we'll teach you how to do that next so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna have a link down below to bot tricks live and with this thing you can do you can log into your twitch youtube or whatever you want for me i'm logging into my twitch when you do this you can actually set it on up to have your alerts and stuff but once you're in here you can link other platforms like youtube and kick which i'm not going to show you how to do that because that take a process but what we can actually do is go under widgets and in widgets we can add a actual chat alert for our actual stream so if we want to monitor our chat and have it pop up on stream we can actually do so with this and you of course can modify this however you want the time being though we're just going to copy as is and we're going to make it disappear after a certain amount of time so we'll do is we're going to go to the widget link down here and we're going to copy this and actually take it to our obs and if you were to add it like your alert to any widget all you do is add and of course go into browser because you're gonna add a browser widget and i would recommend making this 600 by 600 so that way it looks perfectly even we can just remove this and all we have to do is then paste our link so that way if somebody starts typing in our chat for example here you can actually see our message will actually pop up on stream from our chat so you can actually use this to set up a actual chat box for your stream which is pretty nice and now if you want to add alerts all you have to do is exact same process we're going to go back to bot tricks live here on our actual thing go under alerts and we're going to copy the link that's provided here you can customize this however you want but i've already set it up for the time being now what we have to do same process we're going to actually go in here right click on our sources add a source browse the source and then we're going to just make a new one and paste our actual link in here like so of course we just make it six by 600 by 600 that we can now test out our new alerts to see if our alerts just pop up naturally on here we should get audio for this too because it should just automatically be a thing so let's just test this for the time being we'll play a follow alert which you can see it went off you can hear my speakers too and of course if you want to mess up your audio for actually widgets for actually alerts you can actually customize it by going in here and they, they control audio via obs and that way you can actually control how loud the audio is from it just in case you want to mess with it if you want to and then you could just name it whatever you want since i have it named as browser source 2 we'll just name it to alerts but with that though you can add now your alerts webcam overlay and all that stuff but the big thing now we need to teach you guys is what to set your settings for obs for streaming so what we're gonna do is go back into our settings and what we're gonna do in here is actually go under output so make sure when you have it right off the rip it's gonna be on simple mode you need to disable simple and change it to advanced that way you have a lot more flexibility with it on mac and what we're gonna do is mess with our video encoder right now it's on x264 which we don't want we want to change it to the hardware encoder which is called the a apple which is hardware encoder right here don't use the software encoder because this is going to be the, using the gpu which is awesome and now we can leave this on cbr for streaming for constant bitrate and what we want to do is actually check our internet speed to see what it is so what you're gonna do is look up on google i will also have a link down below to speed test and we're gonna do is test our upload speed if our upload speed is higher than actually six megabits then we can actually change our bitrate to 6000 1080p for a high quality 1080p stream however if you do not have six megabits at minimum i will show you some better settings for lower for lower internet speed if you don't have the fastest speed possible but since we're on the new max we have one gigabit ethernet and my house supports 10 gigs uh we'll be pretty good so now that we know our upload speed is greater than six megabits we can actually set our bit rate to 6000 and of course you can send the keyboard interval to two just leave it as is and then profile on high you don't really have to mess with any settings and what we're actually going to do is go into video settings next here and we're going to customize our base canvas is going to be 1920 by 1080 because my monitor is 1080p monitor it's nothing any higher than that however you do have a 4k monitor or a 1440p monitor you would of course enable that for like 4k so just something to keep in mind but since it doesn't support that we're not going to worry about that now for the output scaling this is going to be for like what it's going to send the platform to so we're going to switch this to 1080p because we're going to go to bitrate and then for our downscale filter we don't need mouse with this because we're not downscaling and then for fps we're going to set this is 60 with that we have the best possible stream settings now just for example here let's just say you don't have greater than six megabit upload speeds i'm going to show you guys another settings you can use to stream with mac so we have no problems possible so what we're going to do right here is we're going to leave our coding settings the same besides the actual bit rate we're going to switch this to 4000 or 3500 depending on which one you want to do you can do either one but the big thing you want to actually do is go into your video settings and we're going to actually change the actual canvas so we're gonna leave the base canvas as 1920 by 1080 but the big thing we want to do is actually change our output canvas to 720 and that way we can actually stream this and if you are not affiliated on twitch i would just recommend streaming 720 in the first place because it doesn't support 1080 and transcoding uh, so it's something to keep in mind and then you can leave this as 
uh, 60 FPS, but if you're still having a problem with upload speed, I would recommend changing this to 30. We're just gonna change this to 30, and this will be still a really high quality stream. If you can, I would bump this up from 4,000 uh, to 4,500 for a really crisp 720p stream, or you can do like 3,500 if you just need the bare minimum. Now, we do wanna quickly go over recording settings if you are interested in recording on Mac. I would recommend doing the same thing you did earlier. Make sure that actually enable your video coder to be the hardware encoder. And besides that though, i uh, just leave it on CBR. And of course, Mac is very powerful. If you are having a good Mac, you're gonna be able to record pretty much anything. Uh, you can do 10,000 bit rate, or you can do uh, 20,000. But keep in mind, if you go past like 20,000, you won't get any more benefits from that for 1080p, unless you're doing like 4K. And if you're doing 4K, you should do like 60,000. But that's just something to keep in mind. You're not gonna really be screen recording for that much. Now, if you do wanna go on live platform, this is the final step. What we need to go to is stream. And when we're on stream, we're gonna customize this. So the first thing we do is instead of service being uh, Twitch, we're gonna set this to custom. And what we're gonna do is go get our stream key and URL. So once you're on Twitch, all you do is go to the top right profile icon, click on dashboard. Once you're in your dashboard, what you need to do is go under settings. When you're in settings, you're gonna click on stream and get your stream key. You're gonna take that and put it into our OBS under our stream key and place that there. Now for the server URL, you will have to go somewhere else to get that. I will have a link to this down below. And what you're gonna do on the side here is wherever you are, I'm in the US, I'm in actually the VA. I wanna get the closest servers to me. So you can just take the URL, look for one. Whereas I'm near Ashburn, we're gonna copy this actual link right here. We're gonna take that information and just paste it on in here. And you do the same rule apply for you, depending on where you're at. Grab the server URL that makes the most sense. It's closest to you. And that we can now go live on Twitch. So for example here, if we click start streaming, we should see ourselves go live at 6,000 bit rate, 1080p at the highest quality possible settings. But you can see we're now live on macOS on Twitch. Well, that is how you set up OBS Studio on macOS so that way you can start streaming on Twitch. If you guys did find this video helpful here today, then you want to do, make sure to smash the like button and get subscribed to some future content because we're gonna be having a video coming out later here on how to stream with Streamlabs OBS on Mac because I feel like a lot of people use that over OBS. So if you do want to see that video, let me know by smashing the like button. I'll see you guys back here for more tech content. Until then, have a great day. Tech Rant out.